Here's my uh, new condensation pump I installed. As you can see, the data on there. This one came with two wires attached. It's a, uh, if I can hold this thing steady and show you these two wires. Well, it's, it's, I've changed it to one. But there was two wires hanging out of here, which are normally wired inside of here to normally closed contacts. So I rewired the contacts to be normally open. So when the the switch level in here changes and activates this switch, it closes the contacts, which then activates this watchdog water alarm here. Now normally the watchdog water alarm has two contacts underneath which are now gone. I took those off, ran the wire in there, connected it directly, and then figured I'd better have a way to check the battery inside of that thing because if the battery dies, I'll never get my alarm if the condensate pump quits working. And then I'll have water over the floor. So all yesterday I added a push button switch, single pull, single throw, like this here. You can hear it. Pretty loud, eh? And it's just hanging on the furnace here with a screw, so that's why it's. Uh, that's why it's moving like that. I don't. I mean, it's tight. It's not going anywhere. And I didn't see any need to silicone it down. So now, if I want to check the battery every year, just hit the button under there. Yeah. You can see the little red button in there, right? All right. Cool. Cool. Let's see where we at here. Oh yeah. You see my nice epoxy table, my little mirror finish. <laughs> Talk about a mirror finish, eh? All right. 